it is my honor to welcome Jason Prince. Uh, Jason is a maker and co-founder of Infora Systems, whose passions include HVAC, home network automation, and personal data management. He believes in open source is the best pathway to improving technology and sees powerful synergy between FOSS and employee-owned cooperatives. I'm liking this already. I'll hand it over to you and just click on the button for your, your presentation. All righty, thank you so much. Um, so hello, I am Jason and I am with Eumorpha Systems. Uh, my background's in software and electronics. I have always been interested in buildings, but I never thought I would find myself uh, in this world until my boyfriend and I bought a house a few years ago that turned out to be terrible. And I have since fallen in love because there's a lot of cool stuff here and it is a whole world of building science that I did not know existed. And uh, I hope you'll enjoy it. So here's a whirlwind tour. Um, so what is building science? Well, buildings are really important, if you've ever stepped into one before. Uh, they use a huge amount of global energy, which is turning into a pretty big problem. And uh, there's a lot of low-hanging fruit of ways that we can improve the energy use of the built environment. The health impacts of our buildings are becoming more and more of a big deal. We're getting more and more research all the time that the inside of our buildings, especially air quality, tends to be worse than outside, who would know? Um, and comfort as well. It's a huge part of our daily lives. Wouldn't it be nice if we could always be comfortable and not be guilty about using energy, spending money, uh, and just be happy? So it turns out we have solutions to all of these problems, and they're pretty good if you just take a little bit of stuff into account. Um, if you would have asked me a few years ago what the most important part of a building's envelope is, I would have said insulation, and that is a, a pretty solid second, but in almost every way, air tightness is much more important. And as soon as you have any leaks at all, and it's pretty easy to get leaks in a building, then there are a lot of reasons that air is going to move through it. You have stack effect mechanicals and wind all making pressure differentials. And uh, how do you quantify it? Well, you use a blower door, this really cool thing. You put it in the front door, you use a fan, and you figure out how much air you have to move into the door to maintain a set pressure differential between the indoors and the outdoors. And that tells you how leaky the house is. Um, it also helps you find leaks because while you're moving all this air through, you can use a thermal camera with a temperature differential, or you can use smoke pens and find where some of these big leaks are. These ones, penetrations for electrical stuff, that makes sense, but there's a lot of other ones that you wouldn't think about. Um, psychrometrics, I'm not even going to go into this, but it is a whole another part of building science. Uh, this is just the relative humidity chart, but it is insane how much this explains a lot of phenomenon in the world. One is like, how, why do we think it's uh, dry in the winter? Another one is why in hot, humid climates do air conditioners spend up to 70% of their energy not changing the temperature, but just condensing water out of the air? So whole world, not gonna get into that. Um, and it makes air leakage worse because water follows the air and does crazy things like mold. And this is, you know, buildings don't last as long, there's health problems, there's a lot of stuff. So yeah, big world. Now. We know all the problems now. How do we solve them? Well, that's where we start to get into the fun stuff and the reason that I'm here. Um, HVAC, we're going to start with the V, ventilation. There are these really cool things called energy recovery ventilators. If you make a uh, house super airtight, well, aren't you going to run out of oxygen? Yes. So you got to have fresh air. These things, they pull in air from the outdoors and they bring it indoors. And they also do the same. They take air from inside, from your bathrooms and kitchens, and take it outside. And in the middle is an energy recovery core where those two air streams don't mix, but they can exchange heat and humidity. That helps precondition the incoming air and you don't lose as much energy that way. Um, heat pumps, I'm also not going to get into them because there is a lot of stuff already out there. They're getting their time in the limelight. Uh, but all to say that they're super cool. Now, one reason that I'm here, pitch number one, is that we need a lot of people to put all this stuff into action. And there's a lot of really fun stuff to play with and cool things to do. If you like doing technical hands-on things, then you will probably enjoy a job in the trades. And there you can make a lot of money. These are the first few jobs that I just found where you can just show up day one and they will teach you everything you need to know. Uh, everything in Montreal was in French, so I just, this, Williston, Vermont's close apparently, so. Um, spent five minutes looking for those, they're all over the place, and there's a lot of fun stuff to do. And finally, my last little plug is for Open HVAC. 
Probably everyone in this audience would be really annoyed if you tried to use the ERVs and the heat pumps that are coming out today because they're all closed source proprietary things that are not hackable at all. At OpenHVAC, we're trying to change that, so come join our Discord. And uh, thank you so much. Enjoy the, the summit. <laughs>